Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the movie review of Leave the World Behind, based on the book of the same name written by Ruman Alam on October 6, 2020, which I find very similar to a conspiracy theory. Yes, we watch most movies to have a good time, but I guess this is not one of them. My first sentence in the first minutes of the movie was, with such a professional cast, why are the scenes shot as if they don't even know how to act? The dialogues and body language are too disjointed. It's like no one knows what they are doing. In the following minutes, when I saw traces of the conspiracy theory I mentioned, I realized that anyone would experience the same disconnect in such a situation. At least that's how I want to evaluate it, because if it's not, that's too bad. Anyway, the name of the conspiracy theory, Cyclical Disasters. Have you heard of it before? Let's take a look together. Imagine that the world is reset by cyclical disasters every few centuries. Almost all life starts from scratch. The expectation is that when the phenomena generated by solar flares fall on the earth, they will pulverize everything they come into contact with, especially metal elements. In this situation, metropolitan cities are considered to have no chance. And what do we see? The only way to survive in this situation is to find a cave in mountainous areas, mostly rocks, which can protect you from these solar phenomena. Or there could be specially built shelters, like those bunkers that are not even shown in the project. Introducing the Svalbard Global Seed Vault, aka the Doomsday Warehouse. I guess it goes without saying why it was established. Anyway, don't tire yourself. It's hard to find enough caves for all of us anyway. Why do I feel the need to describe the movie in this way? Because if we look at it as a normal hacker attack movie, it's really bad. And we would expect any government to fight these hackers, right? Why might that not have been included in the movie? Why would you want to fight something that you know you can't fight? I mean, it's like the movie has a purpose. At least that's the theory I've heard. So I think it's better to look at it that way. If it's a hacker attack movie, how can we explain the animals changing their migration routes? As far as I know, animals do not get their location information from satellite like we do. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me tell you a secret that you've been looking at, but you can't see. It's not the first time. They've shown us this. Now I'm going to add some movie scenes. I may not be able to put all the scenes because of copyright, but I will include the names of the movies and the duration of the scenes. Get to any kind of underground shelter. The earth shook for days. The fires burned for weeks. And when the ash had settled, less than 10,000 of your kind still live. But the sun has scorched our world. Build of lives lost to fire, famine, suffering on a global scale. The fallout was unimaginable. Yeah. Tore a hole in the sky, sun came down, and burned everything. Everything and everybody. You were lucky to hole up and hide in a place like this or underground. Do you think these scenarios are all coincidences? Or are they trying to indoctrinate us into a prophecy? So who do you think are the people who are trying to pass this information on to us? Look what Scott says. A conspiracy theory about a shadowy group of people running the world is far too lazy of an explanation. Especially when the truth is much grayer. No one is in control. No one is pulling the strings. Sure, there are those like my friend who might have the right kind of access to the right kind of information. But when events like this happen in the world, the best, even the most powerful people can hope for is a heads up. Um, did you think these dialogues were written randomly? 
Or are these people going to wait for the danger to pass in a place like this? Then let's look at another one, but I'll summarize it briefly. Rose tells a story that goes like this. God sent you many messages to warn you, but you didn't listen to any of them. And Rose finally says, I think I've waited long enough. I think the pieces are in place now. And then you guessed it. Rose goes to the bunker. And why do you think Rose is smiling? Is it because she watched the last episode of the show? A disappearing full moon, a wild young woman, guns and food. If you like the video, you know what to do. See you in the next movie.